Good morning guys, bright and early, 7.15, uh, just now heading out of the shop. I've got 11 on the schedule today, and then I need to help Zach with one, um, I think after I get my second done, uh, based off of where I am and where his stuff has, is. Um, so that's what's going on today, 11 yards to mow. Um, I don't know, I might start on Wednesday's schedule, uh, depending on how late I really want to work. Um, but we'll see because it's supposed to rain for all the right? It's supposed to rain. I suck at holding the camera apparently this morning. But um, it's supposed to rain Thursday all day. Um, so I might end up trimming bushes that day since I'm not going to be able to mow. Uh, and I've got some brush and stuff I need to haul off on Thursday. So I might just do all of that but I might try and get started on a couple of Wednesday schedule uh, this evening and just work until dark uh, hopefully that way I can make up time because I've got to um, I gotta get stuff sprayed this weekend and I've got two days worth of spraying so I, I already know I'm gonna have to at least spray Sunday and I think I'm gonna end up mulching Saturday so I might just have to spray uh, after mulching uh, just to keep up with everything especially if it rains uh, Thursday but heading to the first one now it's a little apartment complex don't know if I'm gonna film anything just because there is so many people there um, and it's quite a bit of weed eating it's about 45 minutes of weed eating 20 minutes of grass cutting and 10 minutes of blowing off takes an hour to hour and 15 or so um, so yeah that's where I'm heading I'm gonna go knock all this out and actually I'm gonna stop and get breakfast first uh, and then go cut so I will uh, see you guys when we get there Alright guys, so actually I'll grab my hat and glasses in a minute. At the first one here, uh, park at the fire station because that's about the only place. Little apartment complex, I've had this place for five or six years now. Uh, Y'all have seen it in a video where I did the, um, I put the GoPro on the 36 inch pro line when I had that a while ago but this building here and then there's a whole back section so um not really any good places to set the camera up and with as many people around here as there is <clears throat> I really don't want to um so I'm gonna go ahead and get this knocked out and uh I normally line trim everything first and then mow it it's just easier to do that uh, so, I'm going to go get it knocked out. Alright guys, so first one down, got my breakfast sandwiches. There's more in the bag over there. And a big tea. Uh, Arizona is probably my favorite packaged tea. Um, getting ready to, well, I am heading to the next one. Um, and then I think Zach's going to meet me over there. We have one about eight minutes away from that. Um, well, he has one from there that's, uh, it's going to need bagged and he doesn't have a bagging system or a catcher or anything like that. So I've got the V-Ride with the accelerator. Uh, so we'll end up just using that to bag that one. So I told him I'd help him out with that. Um, and then I got, I think, nine left in town. Um around my house and my shop and whatnot um and yeah i might get started on some of wednesday stuff today uh one or two i've got a commercial lot in the morning that i might go ahead and knock out this evening uh, and then start on everything else tomorrow so that's what's going on today so head to the next lawn and i'll set the camera up and get some film in there because that's a lot easier to film than where i was just at so
Alrighty guys, so heading to, I guess technically the fourth one. Uh, we just knocked Zach's out. I didn't want to film because it's one of his properties. But uh, this is the one I'm cutting here. This is one of my favorites that I cut. You can see the stripes in it. I did diagonals last time. Uh, and then this hill, I just cut the same direction every time. But uh, this is definitely one of my favorites to cut. So I'm gonna see if I can set you guys up and uh, show you the Kubota doing its thing. <laughs> all the stripes got some stripes going down the road there or down the way there uh, picked up a couple new pieces of equipment yesterday uh, picked up a PE 2620 and a SRM 3020 um, I need to change the I might end up changing the head out I don't know uh, my hands are all grassy from the one we were doing but I've still got the 2620 the 2620T and then the head trimmers. The reason I have these here is because these are set for the racks on my um, open trailer. Because uh, I don't necessarily always need this. This is just for like overgrown stuff uh, and sort of taller stuff, but I might end up playing around with it some today a little bit. Um, I haven't been a fan of the speed feeds, but I'm going to give this one a shot, see kind of how I like it and all that stuff. It's just, I've always thought they were bulky. That's why I run, put these Echomatic Pro heads on here. Um, and I actually, I hate this line. This is the line I used to use. It's the Rhino line. It's 080. Same as this, but I like this line so much better. It doesn't, I've noticed with that line, it grabs a lot more than the round line, but just wanted to show y'all I picked these up uh, the other or yesterday I had this handle turned just the way I hold it because it is a curved shaft it does stick out kind of far off of the rack but I don't think it's gonna be an issue uh, if it is then I'll just turn it sideways um, which isn't a big deal but or I might take I don't know if these shaft size is different than my old steel FS 90 R I had the straight shaft but I might just pull the power head, the handle off, and put the straight shaft steel edger on it. But, uh, so there's those. I'm gonna give, I might just play around with this, use this for today. I need to loosen up this handle a little bit for the way I do my edging. I just need to do it like a hair. Uh, it's still a little tight because these are a lot looser. Y'all have seen in my videos when I go to edge, I just spin the trimmer on my side um so much easier than holding it up over your head but uh get this one line trim blown off and i got i think seven or eight more after this and i might end up starting wednesdays because it is supposed to rain thursday so we'll see what happens see what time i get done with today's stuff so go knock this out and uh we'll see you guys in a little bit right, guys so that one's done um I did switch out the, I did, I used the 3020, um, just to try that, um, but I switched the trimmer line over to the .080 that I normally use, uh, and it's, it did so much better, uh, well, I noticed it wasn't grabbing as much and all that stuff, but you can see 
stripes. That's a weekly that gets cut at four and a half inches and I'm all I constantly take off like two inches, two, two and a half, which I mean I guess still follows the one third rule. Cause I think if you cut a, if you're cutting at four and a half inches, um, it should be like six inches or so, something like that. I, I don't I don't really know. So that one's knocked out, heading to the next one. I've got, I think, two in this neighborhood. Um, and I'll probably stop and grab some food. Uh, I'm not crazy hungry, but it is one o'clock. Achoo! Excuse me. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then I've got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven left to cut today, I think. I think I've only got 10 total, 10 or 11. Or, no, I've got seven left, plus another commercial, so eight. Um, and the commercial, I normally just do Wednesday morning uh, because my weekly Wednesday commercial property I was doing last year, um, y'all saw that last week, that was that big, uh, that big field, uh, that that retreat center area, that was weekly. That moved to bi-weekly, so I kind of took some stuff from Tuesday, or took that one from Tuesday and moved it to Wednesday. But um, might cut that tonight, and might do some of Wednesday's some of Wednesday's list. And I missed my turn because I was not paying attention. Oh well, it happens. Um, so I might do start on Wednesday schedule as well today and get some of those knocked out just so it's a little bit less to do tomorrow and then I can also start Thursday schedule tomorrow because of the rain that's coming um, I'm just trying not to have to work seven days a week and if I got to work a little bit longer at the end of each day and cut a couple off the following days schedules to keep on track so that I can get caught up and get some of my mulch jobs and stuff done um, then that's what I'm gonna do so uh, I'm gonna go the back way to this one that I just missed the turn at knock that out and uh, we'll see you when we get there all right guys so at the next one uh, this the front of this one is weekly the back is bi-weekly I do have to do the backyard today uh, I need to set the parking brake better on the Kubota. It's a little loose. I think something, I think something's bent up in the pedal, but I don't know if I have a good place to set you guys up, but I'm gonna get this one knocked out and uh, head on to the next one, which is right up around the corner. So go ahead and get this one knocked out. I'm probably gonna plug the camera in and get that charged a little bit, uh, but knock this one out and uh, head to the next. All right, guys, so this is another weekly. Uh, it's been kind of cool, so the weekly stuff isn't growing a ton. I mean, it's got some good growth to it, but it's been growing a bunch, but set you guys up and get some footage mowing this.
All right, guys, so I've got about five left to do. Um, I am ridiculously tired for some reason. I don't know. I mean, do you guys have any suggestions on how to fight midday tiredness? I guess would be the best way to put it. Uh, it's kind of like around lunchtime, 1, 2 o'clock, you just feel just so drained. Like you're just ready to quit and go home and I mean granted probably getting more sleep would be a start I don't normally go to sleep until 11 30 12 and I'm up at 6 or 6 30 so um, you guys have any tips other than sleeping more uh, let me hear them because uh, I'd like to know doing a roundabout up this way and the traffic is ridiculous so I'm gonna cut through this side of the neighborhood and try and come the other direction uh, from main road hopefully where there's less traffic that way I can get to my lawn a little bit quicker so uh, get these last few knocked out and I might start Wednesday's list depending on how I'm feeling hopefully I can if I don't tonight, I want to get an early start tomorrow just to make sure that I can, uh, hopefully just to make sure that I can get to everything and hopefully start Thursday's list, but I'd love to start some of Wednesday's tonight if I can make it happen, so we'll see what happens, but I'm going to try and get to this place. We got more traffic backed up through here, <coughs> but, uh. I reckon we'll go get these done and uh, see what I can get filmed for you guys. Alright guys, so got this one here on the corner done. Got the one, uh, you can kind of see the mailbox and then there's one at the other end at the back side of the cul-de-sac I did. Um, got one left, it's 543 now. Uh, spent a decent bit of time at the dealer because I had ordered something uh, and they're having a couple issues nothing with what I did nothing with what I have done um, but with other companies so I went up there to try and just kind of see what was going on and looks like I won't be able to pick what it is up until tomorrow I don't want to tell you guys yet um, not hardly anybody knows yet what it is but um so I've got one left, and it's almost 6 o'clock now, so I doubt I'm going to start on anything for tomorrow. I'll just get an early start. Uh, start at about 7 or so. But um, used to do these two right here. This one here in the blue house. Uh, and the blue house's son got... He bought him a mower or something or another, so now he does both of those houses. Which isn't a big deal because I give him props. He's a kid. He wants to get out there and work and make some money. So, absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I'm pulling up to the next one now. It's this one here. Uh, they've got a real nice Corvette and a real nice skyline and a really crappy yard. Uh, so... I don't think I'm going to set you guys up here. There's nothing really special about this one. I'm just going to get this one knocked out and head back to the shop. Uh, I've got to probably touch blades up on the mowers. Because uh, I like doing those. I cut for two days, sharpen blades. And then round off the last two days of the week uh, for grass cutting. So That's just how I am. I like to sharpen them twice a week. It keeps them from rounding over and getting too dull. So uh, that's what's going on for the rest of this video, um, or at least the rest of this evening. This might be the end of the video, um, but yeah. So let's uh, I'll get this one done and head back to the shop. All right, guys. So I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see me, um, but I did end up picking up what I ordered at the dealer. Uh, so y'all will see that in tomorrow's video. Um, I just, I just got home. Uh, if you're already friends with me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram, you already know, but y'all will definitely see it in tomorrow's 
video but um so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this one uh, i didn't get a ton of footage today but i wanted to put a video out for you guys anyway so hope you guys enjoyed make sure you go rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow